Hey you guys, how you guys? It's your girl, the Real to Divine Feminine, and I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message to you guys is, um, hmm. you see, guilt will make you act a plum fool, doing all kind of things to try to fix your wrong. But accountability will have you moving on with no hard feelings because you did your part clearing up what you needed to clear up your conscience you cleared it you see when folks be guilty of doing folk stuff they be trying to do all kind of other stuff behind the scenes doing this behind the scenes doing that acting a fool telling lies on you doing all that because they are guilty of things and they can't face you but when somebody can hold you accountable hold they self accountable for what they did guess what they do when they know they wrong you and they know they do it wrong by you they can apologize to you apologize to they self publicly behind closed doors however it was that they disrespect you they can do it publicly or behind closed doors and you can move on gracefully I remember I remember I was uh, maybe it was like 18 years old. I had watched this, this movie called Imitation of Life. And the girl, she did all around, but the minute that their casket closed, the minute the minute that casket closed and that hearse was carrying their body, she wanted to scream and holler and all this other kind of stuff with regret. And that's how people do. People want to, when you gone, then they want to uh, do all this boohoo and the crying and all this stuff, acting a plump fool. When you, but but they had the chance to do right by you. And I'm not talking about uh like physically gone. I'm talking about like when you gone. I'm not talking about you being deceased. I'm talking about when you gone out of their life. When you when you get the strength to move on and go about your business. They have the they be having up amount of time. To come and make things right with you. To apologize to you. To right their wrongs. To do what it is they need to do. And they don't do it whatsoever. They don't do it at all. Then. When you decide to. You know what? I'm not even worried about your apology no more. I'm not even worried about you no more. And what you have going on. I'm just going to let this thing go. And I'm going to go on about my business. Then they want to act a plum fool, everything your fault, do this and this and that instead of take accountability for what they did to make you walk off to make you not want to deal with them to make you not have want to have no conversation with them. Us as people we have to learn how to take accountability for what we do and allow people to grieve, allow people to have the opinion to do what they feel like is right once we've done something to them. So, it, yes, you might have apologized to someone, but that doesn't mean that person still have to fool with you. If you didn't apologize to someone, they per that person still doesn't have to fool with you because we, we have free will as people. And people have to learn how to take accountability. Stop trying to guilt trip everybody about what you did. You cheated and got caught. You made a baby and got caught. You stole money and got caught. You lied and got caught. Take accountability for what you did and stop trying to guilt trip others and put the blame on everybody else. But you, it's everybody else's fault but you. You messed up our friendship. You messed up our relationship. You the reason why our contract non and void. You the reason why we don't have those babies that we were supposed to have this lifetime. You the reason why nobody want to sit and have a conversation with you. You the reason why your business deal is going bad. You the reason why your money not flowing the way it's supposed to flow. You the reason why you lost your job. Because you didn't take accountability of the things that you did. And the things that you know you did. You should have right your wrongs. You didn't right your wrongs. So now you trying to guilt trip everybody else. To making everybody else think that it's somebody else's fault. The reason why you going through what you going through. But when in reality it's your own fault. Us as people, we got to stop trying to put the blame on everybody else and look and be the man inside the mirror and face our wrongs.
face the wrongs that we have did when we have did it take accountability for what we have done so things can smooth over inside of our life listen I don't care. It's not what you do. It's how you do it to people. If you do stuff with people to, with ill intent, you knew you knew what you was doing. You knew when you was telling them lies on people's name. You knew it was going to uh, assassinate their character. You knew people was going to start, people was going to run with that story that you told. You knew when you was asking somebody for some money, you knew you wasn't going to pay that person their money back. You knew you didn't have no intent. When you used that person ID, identification, and all the rest of that stuff, you knew you were trying to get that person locked up. You knew that you were trying to get that person in some kind of trouble. You knew you weren't going to take actions. You knew you weren't going to pay that ticket. When you stole that person ID and put a car in, your, in, uh, in their name for you, you knew you wasn't going to pay that bill. You knew that person was going to be picked up when you stole that birth person house. You knew you had a chance of putting that person and their family in a homeless situation. You knew all this, but you did not care. You did not take accountability. So now things are bad on your end. You want to guilt trip everybody as it is the person's fault that you violated, the person's fault that you disrespect, the person's fault that you stole from, the person's fault that you manipulated. No, it is your fault. It is your fault. Your fault the way things are going in your life because you wanted something so bad for somebody else's life. That's why I tell you guys, you got to learn how to start uh, speaking peace, blessings, miracles, and blessings inside of people's life. You cannot you cannot speak harm and bad inside of people's life and think things going to go good in your life, especially when you have the intent for those people to fall, for those people to lose everything. You did it, and you got to learn how to take accountability with it. Not guilt trip nobody. Oh, I'm going through this because, uh, she did this to me. She, yeah, she, she, she did this to me. Oh, I'm going through this because he left me. No, 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 no. You're going through what you're going through. They left you because they left you because of what you did. You going through this because whatever you did to her, whatever you tried to portray and, and, uh, predict in her life and, um, project in her life. That's why you got going on what you got going on. Y'all not friends no more because you always had your hand out. You always was a taker and never giver. And then you had your audacity to try to put your mouth on somebody who was blessing you, who was paying your bills, and you ain't never done nothing for them. That's why you going through what you going through. You try to talk about somebody else's kids and what they was going through at the time with their children, and now you going through all kind of stuff with your kids worse than what they was going through. Keep your mouth off of folks. Stop being dishonest and tell the truth and hold yourself accountable for what you have done to people. See, let me tell you something. God sees everything. He sees what you do behind closed doors. And like I say this all the time, anybody can live a make-believe life on these social sites, on their jobs, on their whatever. But they can play the perfect picture. But when the people inside of the house that live with them start speaking, you best believe those people because people wear masses every day. People portray to be something that they are every day. When you catch somebody and they the same way all the time, they mask never fail. That's because that's who the hell they really is. You heard me? That's who they really is. So if you know, if you knew somebody from way back in 1995, and you knew all this person life that they've been lying, they still a liar. If you know this person been stealing for all of me, they still a thief. Whatever. If they, if this, if you know this person been slanging that thing like water, guess what? That person still a water slinger. If you know she been popping on a handstand, she still a handstand popper. Whatever it is that you knew this person from being, if that person is still doing it, that's what they do. Because eventually masses fall off. Okay. And if you knew somebody been somewhere for 30 years, 40 years, 20 years, 60 years, 70 years, they never change. That's who that person is. And when, listen, oftentimes us as people, when people show us who they are, we be like, oh, they crazy. We already know they crazy, blase, blase. We make excuses for them. But when God show us who somebody is, that's what it is. And that's what we need to take heed. Because sometimes... Some of us be having illusions spaced over our head, over our eyes, over our ears, so we can't hear, we can't see, and we can't think clearly. But baby, when God remove them scales from over your eyes, your ears, and your head, so you can think, you can see, and you can hear clearly, baby, listen, that's who them people is. No ifs, and buts about it. 
That's who them people is. Whoever them people showing you they is, that's who it is. God didn't showed you. He didn't told you who them people is. There's nothing to second guess about it. It's nothing to uh, take accountability that you was wrapped up, tangled up, tied up with a liar, a deceiver, a cheater, a thief, a, um, a, um, a demon. Take accountability and move on. Don't try to guilt trip and make excuses of why you was tangled up and tied with somebody. No, you. when God showed you who they was, you took accountability of who that person was and you was not acting guilty. See, because let me tell you something. When you don't take accountability, when God show you who somebody is and you be guilty, then guess what you start doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, they this, they that, they this, they that. Instead of saying, you know what? Look, I found out they wasn't a true person who I thought they was. And so then we just stopped being cool. You make 50 million excuses to why you didn't fool with this person and why you do that instead of just keeping it straight and phone you, you you using you you guilt tripping your own self about somebody else in a situation and that's what not god calling you to do god is calling you to take accountability for who i showed you listen you, you didn't slept with this person you didn't let this person get you pregnant y'all didn't had a baby take accountability hey at that time i was in a, i was in a vulnerable state hey i let my vulnerability i made emotion and rational decision got pregnant i wasn't doing this i was doing that i'm doing that take accountability instead of making 51 excuses and trying to guilt trip somebody else and put the blame on somebody else oh they did that they ruined my family they didn't no 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 take accountability for what it is and a lot of you guys don't be wanting to take accountability I'm starting to think a lot of y'all didn't catch no whoopers when y'all was younger by the older folks because y'all do not want to take accountability. Y'all do not want to tell the truth. Y'all do not want to be y'all true authentic self. Y'all y'all allow wor the world to dictate who you are, how you move, how you dress, uh, how you speak. You allow the world because you trying to fit into a place that you're not supposed to. Some of you guys trying to fit in too hard. Be part of a, a group, a circle, a society. Just try to be something that God, that is not fit for you to be in. God did not call you to be a part of none of that. But you want to be a part of that. So guess what? God, he gives us our heart's desires. So you want to be a part of this? God is showing you. That's not where I want you at. That's not who I want you to be with. That's not what I want you to do. And you keep doing it. God, he's going to give you your heart's desire. So God said, okay. I done showed you every red flag in a book. You, that's what you still want. You still want that relationship. You still want to be a part of that group. You still want to be a part of that organization. You still want to be a part of that church. Okay. You still want to be a part of that toxic family. Okay. I'm going to give it to you. Then when God gives you the desires of your heart and you start losing everything. Nothing going right with you. Then you want to cry and say, God, what's going on? What's this? When he didn't show you. I told you that wasn't the person that's for you. I told you to get out of that relationship. I told you to leave that church alone. I told you to stop being that side piece. I told you to stop being that side dude. I told you to leave away from that job. I told you stop hanging with these folks. I told you all that and you didn't want it. So I'm going to give you your heart. I'll give you your heart to die because God is a God. He's not going to force nothing upon us. He gives us free will to do what we need to do. And we feel like we need to do it. And some of you guys, y'all not isolate y'all free will. You know why? Because you listen to what other people say about your life. You so worried about what you're going to lose. You so worried about what society going to say and all the rest of this instead of focus on what God say. I keep telling y'all. If God bring you to something, he's going to bring you through it. So if God told you to go, if he told you to do something, that's because God have better plans for you. I don't know who this message is for, and I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's your girl, the real true divine feminine. I pray this message reach each and every one of y'all and help each and every one of y'all. Peace.